So good morning to all. Hope you're doing great. So in this video, we'll be discussing about FCS software share. So previously, when we discussed about this particular stock, we have done the complete technical analysis. Since many people have requested to make a separate technical analysis video on it, so we'll try to find out what can be the next possible targets. So most importantly, before getting to the technical point of view of FCS software. So we know that recently the company has posted its quarterly numbers and it has posted some very good uh, results. So first we'll try to look at the results and then we'll go to the technical charts. Okay, so firstly, if you see at the numbers, right, so we can see it has posted very good numbers in the past two days, we can see it is in the upper circuit. So I mean, it has opened in between. So there is no direct upper circuit in it. So obviously, we know that it is a penny stock. So risk also will be there. But looking at the current IT sector, so we know IT sector is continuously going in the upside direction, especially all the IT stocks in our markets also have shown some very good recovery. So this particular stock as compared to the previous numbers you can clearly see the net sales basically rose almost 12.58 percent as compared to the year on year basis and you can see the revenue also uh, which increased around 15.69 percent as compared to year on year basis so on an average you can see the company uh, has posted good numbers when we try to compare that with the previous year numbers so on that particular note, we can see almost 20% the stock movement has been seen in the last, uh, I mean, if we include today's days, total two trading sessions, right? So now we'll go to the technical charts because it is almost approaching its most crucial zone and we'll see what are the next possible levels. Okay, so firstly, if you try to observe the weekly chart of FCS software, so we can see from here, we have seen little bit correction. So earlier it went way greater than that as well. We already know it. But after that, we, can, we have seen some continuous lower circuits in the stock. It has come down and again, it is trying to form a W type of a pattern. So the next important resistance is again going to be the 3.50 rupees level. So currently it is around 3.20 means almost it is approaching the 3.5 rupees level. If by chance it breaks the 3.5 rupees level, then we are going to see a very good breakout. So 4.25 is the first level and then ultimately we have the 5 rupees as the target. Right. So these are the levels that we need to keep in radar. And if it gives that sort of breakout, then you can keep in the radar. But first and foremost thing is breaking the 3.50 rupees level and closing above it. So this is going to be the first task. So if it does it, then easily we can expect 4.5 and 5 rupees as the targets. Right. So this can be done uh, in a swing trading purpose if by chance it shows some continuous movement so that targets can be achieved but if it is taking a little bit of time consolidating so then you can keep these levels in radar so same goes with daily chart as well so daily chart also is looking uh, pretty attractive it is going uh, very good so the main zone is this 3.5 Clearly, we have seen multiple resistances there. It has come down. So if it breaks this 3.5, then easily the upside movement is possible. So current price is 3.20. So keep this also in radar. So slowly the upper circuit value is slightly decreasing by 11%. So let's say tomorrow how much the circuit value will be. So if that way, if it continues, so then we can see a possible uh, reversal in the stock. So this is all about FCS software. So because of the turnaround numbers on year on year basis, the stock has started going up. So any further queries you can ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching.